The Mythical Period Early prehistoric China is called the Mythical Period. It encompassed the legends of Pangu, and the rule of the three sovereigns, and the five emperors. The period ended when the last emperor, Shun, left his throne to Yu the Great, and the Xia dynasty began. History as told by archaeological evidence. As in Mesopotamia, Egypt, and the Indus River Valley, civilization in China developed around a great river. The Yellow River and the Huai and Yangtze rivers, created fertile land, ripe for experimentation with agriculture. By around 4000 BCE, villages began to appear in these areas. The Neolithic Chinese cultivated a number of crops, the most important was a grain called millet. They also domesticated animals, such as pigs, dogs, and chickens. Silk production, through the domestication of silkworms, also likely began in this early period. These villages influenced each other more and more over time, and by 2000 BCE a unified Chinese culture began to develop. There is also evidence of urbanism and the use of early writing d this time. These phenomena took place in China about 1000 years later than in Mesopotamia, Egypt, and the Indus River Valley. History as told by Chinese legend. Chinese mythology tells a different story of the beginning of civilization. It holds that the universe was created by Pangu, the first living being. After his death, Pangu's left eye became the sun and his right eye became the moon. The three sovereigns and the five emperors, a series of legendary sage emperors and heroes, helped create man. These legendary rulers taught the ancient Chinese to speak, use fire, build houses, farm, and make clothing. Fuxi and his wife, Nuwa, were credited with introducing domesticated animals and creating the basic social structure of family life. Shenan was a divine farmer who gave the people knowledge of agriculture. The existence of these emperors occurred before written Chinese history, and so the dates of reign are uncertain. The five emperors began with Huangdi, or the Yellow Emperor, whose reign is believed to be from 2698 to 2599 BCE. He was considered the founding ancestor of the Han Chinese ethnic group, and is credited with the invention of Chinese characters, silk, and traditional Chinese medicine. Next came Zhuangzu, who was credited with the invention of the Chinese calendar and the introduction of religion and astrology. Little is known about Emperor Ku's reign, believed to be from 2412 to 2343 BCE. Emperor Yao, whose reign was from 2317 to 2234 BCE, was credited with being a role model in dignity and diligence to future emperors, and was the inventor of the game Wiki, also known as Go. The last was Emperor Shun, whose reign was from 2233 to 2205 BCE, was known for his devotion. He left his throne to Yu the Great, who founded the Xia dynasty, and instituted the practice of passing rulership to a son. While these events are mythological, at their root there may be ancient memories of very early kings and rulers who emerged among the prehistoric Chinese, similar to the tales of Gilgamesh in Mesopotamia. The Xia Dynasty The final part of the mythical period was under the rule of the legendary Xia Dynasty, which may have been mythological. After the final ruler became corrupt, he was overthrown by Cheng Tang, who founded the Shang Dynasty. Sima Qian's Historical Records the earliest comprehensive history of China is the historical records, written by Sima Qian, a renowned Chinese historiographer of the 2nd century BCE. This history begins around 3600 BCE, with an account of the five emperors. According to this history, the last of the great five emperors, Emperor Shun, left his throne to Yu the Great, who founded China's first dynasty, the Xia dynasty. You supposedly began the practice of inherited rule, passing power from father to son, a model that was perpetuated in the later Shang and Zhou dynasties. According to mythology, Yu's descendants ruled China for nearly 500 years, until the last Xia king became corrupt and cruel. This led to his overthrow in C1760 BCE by Cheng Tang, who founded a new dynasty, the Shang dynasty, in the Huang River Valley debate over the existence of the Xia dynasty. 
there is much debate among scholars about how much of this mythology is true. Many argue that the Zhou dynasty, which ruled China much later, invented the idea of the Xia dynasty to support their claim that China could only be, and had always been, ruled by one ruler. The Zhou created the idea of the Mandate of Heaven, which stated that there could be only one legitimate ruler of China at any given time. If he was a good ruler, he would have the support of heaven, if he was despotic, he would be overthrown. The various small states that had comprised Neolithic and Bronze Age China contradicted this version of history. Some people argue, therefore, that the Zhou may have created the idea of an ancient Xia dynasty to support the idea that China always had one ruler. Nonetheless, the Xia dynasty may not be a complete fabrication, recent archaeological evidence may support its existence. For a long time it was believed that the later Shang dynasty may also have been purely mythological, until archaeology proved that it was real. Archaeologists have discovered an advanced Bronze Age culture in China. Its capital, Erlitu, was a huge city around 2000 BCE. This may in fact be the people referred to in Chinese mythology as the Xia. It is believed that the Xia may have created a primitive writing system, though no evidence of this has been found. However, evidence does suggest that the Xia developed agricultural methods and experienced considerable prosperity. However, lack of irrigation and flood protection made the region prone to frequent floods and other natural disasters. Thank you for listening, don't forget to check out other tracks as well. Show your love by hitting the subscribe button and do like, comment and share, to spread knowledge. See you next time, till then keep learning for fun.